It is a real honor to give a presentation at this symposium. I am Sok Pong Jong, orthopedic surgeon in Jinju Bon Hospital in South Korea. I'd like to talk slide. about today endoscopy, two portal spine surgery in patients with cervical herniated disc disorder. Why by portal? By portal. Hello, we can't hear you, sir. Uh, this picture shows that the patient with foraminal stenosis is being uh, operated in this in this technique. Right hand is uh, green portal, left hand is walking portal. Uh, from 2015 to 2020, I did 1,646 segments. Uh, lumbar decompression, about 700. Uh, lumbar discectomy, about 600. Lumbar interval diffusion, 89. Uh, 103 is a cervical disc disorder. The largest share is C56. In terms of surgical technique, the ideal distance between uh, viewing portal and walking portal is two to three centimeter. And this scope insertion, after scope insertion, find the full point between upper lamina and the lower lamina. At this moment, the water pressure and the outflow of water should be well balanced so that you can secure a clear view. We use 30 degree scope and the ordinary spine instrument. Uh, two transverse skin incision and then insert the straight mosquito uh, both portal to dissect the muscle and then uh, insert uh, uh, partially, detach, partially detach the muscle from the lamina using double-ended separator. Uh, right picture shows that transverse uh, skin incision is a little scarring after two months. Uh, scope inserted in the superior facet of the partial muscle detachment from the lamina and make the working space and find the viewpoint. Grip. In the right region, we must grip the distal or walking portal uh, with the left hand to reduce the bone loss. Uh, uh, to, to right, uh, the proximal portal, proximal, uh, Walking portal, if the walking portal is the proximal side, we have to lift a lot of bone in the lamina. Uh, in case of lumbar stenosis, sometimes we, change, we can change the location of the portal for sufficient decompression of hard to reach to places. In other words, we should be able to use both the hand, dominant and non-dominant, in the walking portal. Yes. This uh, is a video for your better understanding. Uh, this picture shows the process of removing the bone from the lamina by using arthroscopic ball. The picture below was taken by fluoroscope. Uh, after using ball, you need to remove the remaining bone from the lamina by using calcium punch. This is a model and the fluoroscopic picture uh, during the surgery. In method to control the bleeding, uh, hydrostatic pressure and arthrocare and bone wax uh, all involve having to wait. Uh, for the full field of view, uh, there must be an outflow of water and uh, we keep the water pressure at 30 millimeter Hg in cervical spine. We approach you under the axillary portion of the root for cervical discectomy. Uh, this picture is extracted from 
Tanaka article in spine. Uh, it shows the anatomical relation between the love root and the disc in the cervical intervertebral bone. A is when the disc is proximal to the love root. Uh, C is when the disc is distal to the love root. Uh, C5 disc is anterior, anterior to the C5 root. And C A note uh, does not contact with a C and T1 disc. This picture shows the moment of which the disc is being removed from the axilla of left C7 note. And the picture below shows the depressurized C A note after the removal of disc. Over 103 segments. Uh, 77 segments uh, had one new foraminal tummy, while 26 segments has both foraminal tummy and discectomy. Average operation time is 36 minutes. Uh, factor determine the operation time. The most important factor is proficiency. The other factor is bleeding control. This picture shows the result of foraminal tummy. Uh, it demonstrates it demonstrate the higher level medial facetectomy in cases of foraminal stenosis. Uh, 50 year old patient, uh, C45 foraminal stenosis, uh, made a working place conducted foraminal tomb with the help of boy and punch, inspected with approval to make sure the decompression was done properly. Uh, for uh, seven year old left disc rupture, uh, we uh, do uh, surgery. Sorry. Uh, so, uh, surgery uh, uh, to sharp, sharp probe, sharp probe with uh, cut the annulus in order to disc, uh, remove the disc. Uh, six or seven, uh, okay. Uh, five, six, right region. Uh, we conducted the form, uh, foraminal tummy, uh, uh, on the axillary portion to remove the disc. Once I do C3 for OPLL, uh, we can do the compressive foraminal tummy and the partial laminectomy. And in far lateral foraminal disc herniation on C67, uh, we can do this surgery. Uh, foraminal to state. Results are uh, excellent. Uh, one, I have one major complication, transient incomplete paraplegia on post leg. Uh, I think it is due to the control failure in the outflow of water and the patient recovered 95% after two months. Uh, possible complications and people, incomplete decompression, uh, long level surgery. Uh, we should take time to check the level above C5. Direct cord and root injury related to the high water pressure, uh, facet fracture, vertebral artery injury, Right tear, face surgery, uh, bleeding or uh, anatomical disorientation, and long operation time. Uh, in, uh, this, uh, uh, the results are excellent with quick recovery. So I think this surgery would be a good surgical technique for the cervical herniated disc disorder. Uh, this, these are uh, my paper related to bipolar endoscopic surgery. Uh, one is uh, severe lumbar spinal stenosis, and uh, the other is uh, multiple spontaneous lumbar epidural hematoma, and uh, the other is uh, cervical bipolar surgery. Uh, thank you for attention. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Jung. That is a wonderful uh, lecture. Sorry. And a wonderful presentation uh, on cervical spine and bipotal in cervical spine. 
one thing that you stressed upon was that you need to use both the hands. There can be no one dominant hand. And uh, yeah. I think I thoroughly agree with you in that. Because uh, in the lumbar spine, you have the advantage of working from the opposite side. But that is not possible yeah. in cervical spine. So I really appreciate that concept of yours. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I request all the panelists to be present. Dr. Sankyu San, there is a question for you from the audience. Are yeah. you there with us, sir? Yeah. Dr. Sankyu San? Why? Yeah. Yes, sir. There is a question for you from the participants. And one of the questions was, okay, why do you need to use the proximal or the cranial portal for cage insertion? And is it an advantage? Can you use a larger cage because you use the cranial? portal for cage insertion or do you use the uh, caudal, uh, I mean caudal portal what is the portal that you prefer that is a question directed to you sir okay uh, your question is uh, your question is uh, semi tubular retractor or cage retractor which portal to use for cage insertion and which is okay. better okay uh, I always, I always use, I always insert the cage through caudal portal because here caudal portal means the, the caudal portal means the interfascicular area to save the muscle. That means here I always use caudal. Caudal portal is working portal, cranial portal is scopic portal. That means here, this is a minimal procedure. Procedure means to save the muscle. I always say my topic is to save the muscle. So that means sonj triangle. Sonj triangle means the interpascular area. Also, I always use caudal portal. And also, second is I always use uh, specialized root retractor. In cage, in insertion cage, that means my my endosofusion is just like a tulip, posterior interlumbar fusion to protect the traversing root. Then that is important. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Lim. Uh, I have one small question for you, sir. Uh, those retractors which you showed in your spine uh, set for interbody fusion. So. I wanted to ask you, Professor Kim, whether uh, those have been patented by you, are they available for others to buy? And if so, now they are with which company? Professor Kim, this question is for you. Uh, can you ask, ask again, sorry. Yeah, the question is that you showed in your slide, in one of your slides, that you have designed some special tubes for insertion of the cage. Yes. It is quite like the cervical spine, uh, cannulas with two wings, dual tanks. Uh, yes. Uh, Are uh, these commercially or have they been only made by you for yourself? Yes, it ma uh, made by, uh, proposed by me and uh, uh, it made uh, in Korean company. And it, it has uh, some difficult, uh, some concept of, uh, compared to the previous uh, retract because it uh, seems like only divide, but not only divide, there is some have uh, some force and some can make uh, some uh, smalling and rogering is possible. That's mean that uh, if we insert some small or working and uh, if we hope to insert the cage that rogering the, uh, uh, the tube, it can possible and it protect there of the nerve root. No. Yeah, if you hope to, uh, I will interest the company uh, maybe in the future with uh, some SNS. 